What's up everyone? Today we are taking a look at Glenn Martins Diesel and his Spring Summer 24 show. Glenn Martins started at Italy's Rebel Fashion House Diesel three years ago. Belgian designer, who is also a creative director of Y Project, assumed the role at Diesel in 2020. It seemed like good fit that time, but it turned out a match made in heaven. It's safe to say that he reinvigorated Diesel and returned it to its former glory. After three years, the useful rebellion of Diesel is the strongest than ever. Question is, how exactly Glenn Martins did it? Well, apparently, he focused on the strongest pillars of the Italian fashion house, denim expertise, provocative advertising, modern streetwear influence, and Italian craftsmanship. He complemented all that with his love for gender fluid designs, innovative silhouettes, and playful elements. His past diesel shows were brilliant and groundbreaking. Glenn Martins knows how to make a noise, even if that means filling a venue with giant inflatable sculptures like he did it for Spring Summer 23, or constructing a huge 200,000 condom mountain for Fall Winter 23. Anyways, Glenn Martins continues to reject the traditional runway shows. He once again let the general public experience the magic of diesel. He arranged a free techno rave and invited over 7,000 people, out of which 6,000 tickets went for the public. It was magic to see the 150-foot red carpeted runway backdropped by techno music and gigantic digital screens. The show channeled the rebellious spirit of Diesel, a sense of non-conformity and self-expression that appeals to everyone, especially a younger demographic. The collection is a spirit of Diesel, democratic and experimental in every piece. I believe in living life to the fullest that every day should be a party, Glenn Martins explained. Apparently, he continues doing his fabric manipulation and his futuristic grunge aesthetic. It was all about impact, experimentation, pleasure and play, a collection for partying as a way of being. The diesel pillars, denim, utility, pop and artisanal are pushed to the limit. The opening segment introduced a peeling paint effect. A series of looks, both for men and women, are built by layering shredded jersey over sheer fabric. That gives an impression as if jersey is randomly burnt out and it is peeling away. In other cases, jersey is bonded onto jersey than distressed. Diesel is all about the moment and individuality, so the distressing is often unique for every garment. Inspired by modern streetwear and party culture, the distress effect is heightened with reverse printing. Devore denim is printed from the inside with the red diesel logo. There is more distressing on inside out indigo jacquard knits to resemble destroyed denim. Utility is pushed to the max with zip up denim tops, pants, and skirts that can be worn separately or zippered together to make boiler suits. Glenn Martins pushes denim techniques to the max, incorporating modern streetwear elements that resonate well with street fashion scene as well as with rave culture. Utility and workwear is explored further. What looks like cargo pants are just cargo pockets held together by straps. Interesting to see cargo pockets and belt bags becoming garments. All right. To celebrate the free movie festival, film poster prints are if Diesel was a Hollywood studio. I forgot to mention that after the show, the venue remained open several days and showed free movies for everybody curated by Diesel. The movie program was reflected in the garments. They incorporated old school movie posters for titles including Spice World and Batman. Sometimes the posters are printed clean on t-shirts, other times they are like glued billboards, fading from the rain and sun. Moreover, artisanal jackets are made from scrunching real-life posters to make a silhouette like fur. At the end, leather was introduced gradually. Memorable looks included distressed biker jackets, experimentally designed with different textures and rugged two-tone look. 
seemingly leather jackets come with cracked coating and paint splatter effect. Footwear was particularly rock and roll. The hammer man's boots were molded with a diesel D logo. Other accessories like diesel sunglasses were made in collaboration with Essilor Luxottica. They have movie star, fine metal frames and wrapping goggles like styles. Glenn Martins once again evolved the useful and rebellious spirit of the Italian fashion house. He pushed Diesel's aesthetic pillars to the max and infuse them with modern streetwear and futuristic grunge. Overall, the collection captured the spontaneity and fun. It was a big nod to modern rave culture. Personally, I'm a big fan of what he achieved and done with Diesel in just few years.